Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing day three of the postpartum workout challenge. We're doing a cardio blast. It's short, it's under 15 minutes, but we are really going to go for it. And this can be a really challenging workout that is really effective. Of course, listen to your body, modify, take breaks if you need to. And also, if you're newly postpartum, do the low impact options with me. Protect your pelvic floor. Just because you can do something doesn't mean that it is going to be safe for your pelvic floor. And for long term, you really want to protect your pelvic floor. It can take 9 to 12 months to get back to a full high impact exercises. But if you are transitioning out of the postpartum phase, you're including more high impact, or maybe you are a partner or friend doing it with a postpartum mom, I'm gonna include some high impact options. I will keep making postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll start with a warm up, and then I'm gonna set the timer for 40 seconds of movement with 20 seconds of walking in between. So we can take our feet wide apart. Let's do some arm circles. Starting to take some deeper breath. Going the other way. Good. Let's take our feet wide apart, pigeon toe our feet in. We can clasp our hands behind us. Let's fold forward. And if it feels good, you can stretch your hands out behind your head. Your arms might be sore from yesterday if you did the arm workout yesterday. Feel free to take any movement here back and forth. Good. If your hands are out, bringing them back in, come all the way up to standing. Let's do some hamstring curls. Last one, good, and I'm gonna set the timer. We're gonna start with a low shuffle. Turn our hips as we punch, keeping our core engaged. Exhale as we punch, setting up, and go. Really try to move as much as you can on your shuffle. Awesome job. Let's walk it out. We're gonna get ready for modified star jumps. We're gonna reach down, engage your obliques, coming up, switching sides. We're gonna get ready for modified burpees next. Or you can just reach up and down if it doesn't feel good to get down on your knees. Reaching up, coming to all fours, stepping up again. Coming up on your toes, 
as you come up. Walk it out. Duck and weave. Strong core. Feel like you're ducking under something. We're gonna do some kicks here. Only kick as high as feels good for you. Kick to the side, step back, punch. And catch your breath between. Setting up on the other side. Step back to punch. Core strong. Awesome job. Let's take a water break. bring our feet wide, come down into a sumo squat. We're gonna move our hands back and forth in a rainbow shape, core is engaged as fast as we can. <sighs> exhale, little exhales as you go across. The core workout as well. A little bit lower. Rocky.
We can come to the back of our mat now. We're gonna go in and out, or you can do crisscross. If you're high impact, the lower you are, the more challenging it'll be. Go as fast as you can. And switch to the other foot. This is always more hard for me. Shake it out. We're gonna come into our sumo squat again, reaching down and up, coming up on our tippy toes, squeezing your legs at the top. If you're jumping, you can add a jump. This is our last one. Strong movements as fast as you can. Last one, awesome job. Let's shake it out. We can stretch our quads, take some deep breaths. Switching to the other side. Good, inhale up. Let's come on up. We'll move into a pyramid stretch. Lengthen spine. Fold over, keeping your core engaged. We can lean a little bit more forward, relaxing our spine. And then come on up. Let's switch to the other side. Keeping our spine lengthened to begin. Folding forward, rolling up. Let's do a tricep stretch here. Good. Switching to the other side. Releasing out. If you have a wall, we can walk and turn sideways towards a wall and then we're going to slowly turn our feet away to get a nice stretch through our chest and shoulder it might feel a little bit tingly but it shouldn't feel painful at all good we can move to the other side slowly moving out when you're ready releasing out if you wanted more of a cool down and stretch i'm going to link to another one in the description box below or in the cards above i hope you had fun and you feel like you got a great cardio workout in of course i will keep making postpartum workouts every week if you like videos like these that does support me please subscribe hit the notification bell i'm also going to link to the info for the challenge if you're doing this as a standalone video in the description box below and my free resources for postpartum my guide on how i healed my forefinger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy a weight loss course that i put together as a registered dietitian or you can access the monthly postpartum workout plan 
Thank you so much for joining me. You did amazing. I'm going to link to the whole postpartum playlist there and the challenge playlist right there.